Hi, let me introduce the add-on. Connect to Breville. I have a phone called Vegetable Merchants, used for signing up. It has first name, last name, email, company, phone number, address, lineman, line, dual city, state, zip, country, and do you want to get notified of offers? Okay, I want to take these as a new contact in my Brewer account. As well as create a company when someone signs up as a vegetable merchant. To configure, you can either go to the add-on menu and click connect to Brewer. And now click configure. For the first time, it just needs the response spreadsheet, which it couldn't find. So it is popping and that says open the current form. And you need to go to responses tab, link to sheets, create a new spreadsheet, click create. And you're done. Once the spreadsheet is created, you can close this or say, OK, I'm done. And now it's time to get your Brio token. Sign up for Brio if you don't have an account. Otherwise, click here to get your API key. If you have your API key already, it cannot be grabbed again. So that's very normal. Click a new API key and say, give a name. Copy the API key and come back here. Paste the API key and click connect. Should see you're connected and it will take you to bring your new tracker. You can either open this add on in a Google form or in a Google sheet, which pulled does the same job. Let's go to sheet and see how it works. Initially, it could take a bit of time because it just needs to grab all the details. Now you can either create a new contact, a double opt-in contact, a company, a deal, link a company, to a contact link deal to a contact link deal to a company. Let me create a contact first. Sheet name is form responses one because I have only one sheet in the spreadsheet. You can have a create or many number of profiles. For now, let's stick on to form responses one. Trigger type is on submit every hour, on submit as well as every hour. This is uh, well suited if you have a Google form. And it is a submission. Whenever a form is submitted, a contact or DE or whatever is created immediately. Also, when a new row is typed in, in your Google Sheet, it can add it to the debris row every hour. So let me choose on form submit plus every hour. Configuration status this is enabled, which means it's always turned on. Brevo list I have a list. In my Brevo account with the tables, if you click here, it shows or it gives you a list which is vegetable merchants. I prefer all the contacts to be created inside vegetable merchants, allow update. So if the same person makes a submission again, it just updates. If you prefer, no, it doesn't make an update. Email, it is a dynamically substituted field from the form submission. If that's a last name, choose last name, that's first name. You can even have multiple, or you can use them in combination, like the first name, timestamp, and so on. But the form fields, I don't need to collect for SMS. And I have a constant question. I choose all conditions match 
and he all. Do you want to get notified of awfuls? Text is exactly BS. Which means, I have a question do you want to get notified? I'm grabbing them or grabbing the details only if they say yes, otherwise no. I click looks good. Now it's time to create a company. Choose form responses and again form form submit plus every har it's enabled and the name, the name of a company. I can choose the company name as company or store name and I click looks good. I'm done with the company and next day is I want to link the create contact with the company. So I choose link company to contact. This gets auto full because you have other workflows previously created and it's the only one workflow for the company. Destination contact, it's from the contact one that you created previously. And here, all conditions, choose the condition as, do you want to get notified? Text is exactly, yes. It tools looks good. I'm coming back here. I forgot to add a condition. Let me add it again. This is case density. You remember, looks good. Now I click see you configurations. And this is done. Next, it's time to make a actual test. I go to the phone. Let me close this. Go, go for three, four, go three, USA. I click yes, and I click submit. Let me come back to sheet, the third response, as well as the status columns are created here. And it provided you the link that takes you to the contact and the company. John Marshall. And it has associated the company's red sequence. And the company's here with red sequence. If you look at the company, you see the contacts one is being linked. This way, it lets you to create a deal as well as it can also create a double opt in contact. And that's why you can use it extensively for extending your Google Sheet and the phone for your workflow. And the first two contacts, those were created manually, and if you would like these as well, read for one hour, and this gets dated automatically, and you would see the contacts being gathered in the brief of contacts and brief companies automatically. This means when you create a new group here, either manually, or by pasting the contents manually, or if your collaborator is creating the multiple rows in a short span of time, maybe a one hour, you just end up creating a new deal or a new contact or a company automatically in the background, even if your sheet is closed. I hope this add-on is helpful. Uh, thank you. Bye.